this lesson. In this episode, we try to finish the earlier concept we started from the very previous previous lesson. All right. So the output we have been able to achieve achieve is this. However, from the question, it should look like what we have here. All right. So now looking at back again, you can see these ones are whole numbers. So we will go back to our code, and then we will change the um, the distance and then the floats type from float to an integer so then to be as early as it was given it can be a float though but i would need you to appreciate that given that case from that question your output is supposed to be as early as it is okay so um let's change this end a float to end and then that will mean this will have to change to int okay um and then distance distance should be made an integer all right okay so let's it's six o'clock and then i'll run it let's see how now the output will be cool so the speed is 40 and then it has traveled for three hours okay so now we have our one 40 our 280 our three all right so back again over right here you can see over right here that it should have this header okay with the line and the end of it so let's try doing the same thing that cannot be inside of the loop because that is not repeating so we'll put that before the loop <clears throat> system dot out dot print line okay so, so it is our and then distance traveled so we'll put over here our and then let's put a tab um distance Travel. Okay, so underneath also we have these dashes like uh, an underline. Let me just copy and then paste this to move faster. All right, so um, let's try this out and then see what the output will be. This, uh, sorry, the speed is 40. The hours traveled is three. Okay, so we are getting close. We have the hour here now as, uh, at the top, the header, and then we have the distance traveled. So hour one, we have 40, hour two, all right, so we can shift this back again into the middle somewhere here, which means that we can just introduce um, an additional tab into this. Or we can just leave it as early as the output is. Okay, so now what we intend to do, sorry, let's just quickly run this and then see if we are sure with the, with the output as it is in the console. Enter 40 and then 3. Well, I actually think this is okay. All right, so now quickly, what we are interested in, in doing, in doing as the question stated was that um, we write we write this this output, this output into a file, but not to display that in the console. So what we're going to do quickly now is to import a library that will help us to to write into, into a file. Okay, so we import java.io and then asterisk. <clears throat> so we're going to use the print writer. I hope you remember this. Print writer. We create an object for the print writer class. Use the new operator to create memory location for the object. Print writer okay so now we will need to specify what what file is it to put right into okay so i want to call the file distance dot tst is to write into the file distance dot tst okay 
um, we will need to throw throw an exception, file not found exception. So then when the code runs, and then just in case it's unable to identify or locate, let me put it right, it's able, unable to locate the file, it will throw that exception, right? So we select this, it throws file not found exception. All right. Um, all right, so on line 16, we have created the file and we have gotten the file open um what book do you have here if you had this is not relevant we can omit that so instead of displaying displaying uh, displaying these values these the uh, the output in at the console we want to instead display it inside of what inside of uh, the file so instead of system dot out of print the print line we want to use the object of the class which is what sorry the object of the um the print writer class we call that what output file okay output file and then in that same that we want to use that same object let me be sure let me be sure that is the name we give to okay so i'll copy the object of the print writer class and then let me put that here okay so the object followed by the function given will help us to print or write into our file so i will place that with the system dot out because you're not using that anymore and uh over here we will do likewise okay so now um like we explained in the previous lesson when the file is opened the file we can now write into or read from the file and the last thing we do is what close the file so we have to use the object and then we use the close function to have closed it All right, so let's save this and then let's run the code we are expecting that it should write the output into into the the file we have created so 40 enter the speed travel that is 40 the number of hours traveled is three all right so build com success let's go to files from here and then we're going to look for the file distance voila it has written into into the test file I hope you enjoyed it and you understood this concept so quickly i would i would have to explain explain this concept uh, um this side i know in the previous video i have already explained that that you can i'm going to quickly go over this side on writing into it so the print writer the print writer file has helped us to write into it is a function that will help us to write into the test file you will need to create an object for it. The object you will create for it will give you access to functions that will actually now help you to write into the file. So you can see from um, line number 24 that that the object output file give us access to the function, the print or the print line, which help us to now write into, into the file, okay? So instead of using system.out.print, we print onto the console, like it to show at the lower section here on the console. Now we wanted to write the output into the file. So we introduce what? The print writer. But you can see over here that um, if you go back again to this, okay, um, we are expecting that when we run when we run the code again and then we input values, we would have different values in there. But let, let's look at this. Go back again to the code. Um, let me run this code again. So it runs successfully. Okay, so now I'm going to change values. Enter the speed traveled. I will enter that it has traveled at 50, and then number of hours traveled is 5. Okay, so it builds successfully. Now let's look at the content of the file. You see, the content of the file has changed. We entered we entered the values 50 as the speed traveled and we entered 5 as the 
um, a number of hours it has traveled. But it does the calculation perfectly well. At our one, it's moving at 50 meters per hour. At our two, it's moving at 100 meters per hour through to the fifth hour. Okay, so it is correct. All right, but we were expecting that it should have added added to the content of the file. It did not. Okay, um, in the next episode, I'm going to teach you how how to append uh, data to the end of the file. Okay, how to append data to the end of the file. All right, who don't know as here what this? If you have any questions on this, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you.